Hi, my name is Nuke and today I'm going to show you how to set up your E4K or E4K Plus to get the best result. So, I'm sure you've seen other videos explaining how to set it up, but the footage just looks bad at the end. And I've used this camera for about a year now and I believe these are the best settings. First up, start up your E4K Plus or E4K. Then you're gonna wanna go to settings and just scroll down, trust me, go to camera reset and reset all the settings. This is not necessary but I'm showing it anyway. So you're gonna be greeted with this screen. Just skip everything, go to English next. United Kingdom next Wi-Fi frequency if you have issues connecting your device um, you'd set it up to 2.4 gigahertz because not every phone supports 5 gigahertz so definitely keep it on that if you had any issues in the past and then just go to settings um, now the first thing is resolution so if you want to turn on video stabilization or EIS later on set it on 4k 30 fps but if you have a really good gimbal or you're just gonna keep it on a stand then set it on 4k 4k and 60 fps uh, I'm just gonna set it like this for now view field of view always set it to wide to wide it's just gonna crop in if you set medium so miss I don't know how it's pronounced but just set it on average this works best auto low light is usually best to just turn it off now video quality set it on high always no matter the condition and now this is very important This is probably the most important setting of all. So change the color to flat. And I'm gonna show you how you edit that to get some amazing results. Shutter, just put it on auto. ISO max. If you have a very bright environment or a lot of lights, set it on 400 or 800. If you're setting, if you're in a more like dark environment, then just set it to 1600 nothing higher than that because it's just gonna be it looks bad if you set it on more than that now sharpness this is a very important one you always keep that on low and just add sharpness later if you need it uh i forgot what this is called but it's better set on a little less because if you set it higher it's gonna overexpose the footage and it's a real nightmare to fix it later so just set it on minus 0 0.5 uh, oh. so now if you have if you chose 4k 30 fps or 2.7k 60 fps you just turn the I EIS on and you have the stabilization timestamp keep it off always it's horrible and the file size set it to max confirm out with okay uh, now to go to settings if you have a just lens distortion available set it on on um, for best performance you must click this and then it will optimize the SD card for you but I've already done it, so let's just skip that. Everything else is just best kept as it is, unless you're using this thing. Unless you're using the housing, then set in housing mode, so you can navigate the menu easily. If you have an external mic to plug in, you just use 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to the USB Type-C adapter and just plug that in. It works really well and just set this to on if you have it. I personally don't right now. Uh, and everything else should be very nice right now. Uh, so now 
you can basically just go and record some footage um, and I'm gonna show you how to edit it to get some really amazing results okay so now that you filmed what you want to film of course connect your camera to the PC and just find your clip so I'm gonna try to find the most recent which is the one I want to drag in and just I don't know drag it to your desktop I'm just gonna copy it okay we got it just like that now open up your editing software I use Premiere Pro which is in my opinion the easiest to use but you but it's paid if you want to do this for free um, you can of course crack it but you know <laughs> I don't recommend doing that or you can just install DaVinci Resolve which is a bit simpler to use and does probably just as good or even a better job than Premiere and the process is e easy and simple so just drag your clip to the timeline it's same in DaVinci Resolve then go to color go to basic correction at least here if you have the vintage result at the bottom of the screen you see a little color icon and just go right there uh, first on we're gonna adjust the saturation clip gets like more color to it then we turn down exposure and we're gonna keep it that way for now um, just throw in a little bit of contrast um, and then spice up the highlights a bit so we get brighter turn down the shadows so we get a deeper black um let's see do we add exposure i think we need a bit of exposure at least um then you go to creative and just sharpen up the video a bit Mm, let's just see a close up. Should we do more? Maybe? That's uh, way too much. Okay, so this is the original shot, I think. Just slide it at 15. That's gonna do it. Maybe add a bit of vibrance. Um, okay. Let's set it to fit. It looks decent now. I just play the clip a bit. I'm gonna tone down the resolution. It's okay, I'd say. Uh, but the colors, they're a little bit warmer in real life. Mm, so maybe I'm gonna change the hue a bit. Let's. 15 definitely looks a bit better maybe how does it look with more green oh that let's say this to minus 8 maybe how about this definitely needs more of the reddish tone um that looks really good I know you can't sell but it's like exactly like real life it's great so now I'm gonna export the clip and show it against the original clip and you'll see the difference so just roll the clip roll the outro check out more videos and just rewatch it if you don't understand any points and that's gonna be it for me bye bye